Okay, today, um, it's a new thing for you, Paulette, so we'll try it this way. The things you're going to need is your handle band. You're going to need um, some dumbbells, 20-pound dumbbells, all right? You're going to need, I'm not really sure what kind of bands you have. If you just have thin bands, like flat bands, so one or two of these. And you need your ab wheel, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to choke your handle band around a stationary object. And you want to stand out on a bench or a chair, whatever you have, and do single leg squats. Bulgarian split squats are called. This is where you're putting your foot behind you. All right, you're doing a, a, like a lunge kind of squat. And the idea is this band here, you want to keep it centered in your body, centered with your belly button, which means your arms are straight out, right out by your belly button. Your foot's back on the bench. And actually, the foot that's up should be close to the band. So you see, I'm wrong here, so I want to do this. Because this, you're trying to prevent the band from rotating you. Like that. This is the whole point of this. Now, when you do this lunge, be sure you want to do a deep lunge. And you want your form correct. You do not want your knee going past your toe, like that. You need a nice lunge like that. So you're going, driving through your heel. So it looks like this. Now, if it's too hard for you to maintain this, you just need to move in a little bit and get a little bit less resistance on your band. If you don't have a handle band, you can use your flat band. So what you'll do, just like this. If it's really easy, then step up. You know, you, you determine what's going to be easy and hard. And then you're going to switch sides. You might have to actually move your chair around so that when you do this side, you know, you're up like that. You do have to, to um, you have to adjust where you're at for this. So I want you to do four sets of this, 12 reps on each leg. Okay? That's the dog trying to get down. All right. The next thing you're going to do is a bent over dumbbell row. And actually, I want you to alternate that split squat. So you do one on one leg, do the other leg, and then go to this dumbbell row. And this is with the, with the dumbbells. Bent over row just says that you're bending over and just rowing. You want to squeeze your shoulder blades together and pull. You should be doing this like with a 20 pound dumbbell. Watch your form. You don't want to be arching your back like that. Keep your stomach pulled in, your chest out. You don't want to be hunched. Okay? Four sets, 12 reps, 20 pounds. You can do a light set first. You want to do like a 15 pound set and work up to the 20 pound, but try to get to 20. All right, so that's your first two exercises that you're alternating. Now your next three exercises, you're going to alternate these. The first one's called the pull through, which you have not done before. You're going to take a band, you're going to choke it around an object. This is a pretty thick band. If you don't have a thick band, you know, use what you have. Use one of the flat bands. So if you have two flat bands, you can use that. You don't want to make it too easy. So what you're going to do, you're choking something around, you're stepping out. You want to keep the tension on the band. This band is like pulling me back. That's what you want. Well, the pull through, and you're doing exactly that. You're bending through, let your hands come through your legs, and you're standing up by squeezing your butt together. Butt together. You're squeezing your butt and your hamstrings. And you reach back down, and the more that you're reaching through your legs, the more you're going to feel that in your hamstrings. And your butt. That's what you did. This is a pull through. This is for your butt and for your hamstrings. So you're going to do four sets of these, 12 reps. You're going to alternate that with your dumbbell presses, 20-pound dumbbell presses, and you do eight reps of these, four sets. You lay on your bench, flat bench, stomach is pulled into your bench. You do not want to be arching your back. Your bench is high from the feet, but you're around. So your feet should be flat. If you can't get your feet on the ground, get a platform. Otherwise, you put your feet up to keep your back pushed into the bench. Your alternating arms, both are up. One comes down. Keep your shoulders on the bench. You do not want to be doing that. You want to keep them down. All right? I think you get trouble with this weight, so I want you to do, stick with the 20 pounds, though. 
but do four sets of eight reps. And then you're going to alternate this with this tricep pull down. So you're going to put a band. I know you have the band that you can hook in your door. So you can do it that way if that's what you have. And you're going to hold your band. Elbows are like glued to your sides. And you're just pulling them down. This is a high rep thing. So you want to do, you know, about 20 reps of this. The higher up your hands are on the band, the more resistance it is, the harder it's going to be for you. Right? But you need to get full range of motion, so if you can't pull your band down, then obviously adjust your hand and move them down a little bit. Right? So that'll be three sets of these. So you're going to do one set of pull through. Right? Pull them through, you're doing 12. Go to your dumbbells, the alternating dumbbell press. Go to your tricep pull through, pull down actually they're called. Okay? And then start again. Pull through. Um, I'll say double press and triceps. Actually you only need three of the tricep pull down. So it'll be four of the pull through, four of the alternating dumbbell press, three triceps. Alright, the last thing you do is your abs. This is the ab wheel, you have this. So I want you to do a little bit different. You do three sets of this. You are only going to do probably six reps because I want you to do a hold, okay? Which means I want you to hold this for a three to five count. One, two, three, up, that's one. Maybe do six. One, two, three, up. So you do that six times. That will be one set then. Be sure when you're doing this, you're keeping your stomach pulled in. You don't want to arch. If you're feeling this in your back at all, you want to stop. Okay? And the, mo and the point of this is to extend and really be using your abs to pull yourself in and out, not your arms. I mean, you are using your arms, but that's not the idea. Um, that's it. Hopefully, um, if you have any questions, give me a call. But, um, you yeah, know, we'll see how it goes. All right. Have fun. Bye.